Hey saxophone players, I have seven ways that you can improve your soprano saxophone sound and I'll give them to you right now. So the first thing that you should do is make sure that your soprano sax is in great working condition. If you have any leaks in the soprano sax, you will have a hard time hitting your low B flat, anything low below the low C. So get it checked out. If you see a repair technician that you trust, that'll help you in that area. You'll be able to hit all the notes on your saxophone and you'll know that it's you that needs to improve rather than the saxophone at that point, which is a good place to be. So number two is to find a good read that works for you. So these are all the different types of reads that I went through to get to the ones that I like today. I finally arrived at Diodario Jazz Select reads. The reason I like these reads is because they get very specific with the types of hardness that they use. It's hard to find soprano saxophone reads that match open mouthpieces. So I like the Diodario Jazz Select Medium Soft for that reason. Number three is to make sure that you're using a proper professional mouthpiece. I'm personally a fan of the sound of a hard rubber mouthpiece. You can also use metal mouthpieces. There are also 3D printed mouthpieces that sound great these days. The point is you should be using a professional level mouthpiece. The reason this is important is because the closer you get to your mouth when it comes to saxophone gear, the more generally it's gonna affect your sound. So your reed and your mouthpiece are the equipment that make the biggest difference on your sound. You wanna pay a lot of attention to that kind of gear first. Number four is a big one, spend more time practicing. That's actually so important. If you're not practicing, you can't improve. So I would make the soprano saxophone your primary saxophone for a while. Do it for a few weeks, even do it for a few months. If you're used to playing alto, just play the soprano as your primary instrument for a while. It'll help you with the continuity of getting your embouchure right getting your long tones down, it'll make your tone a lot better if you're playing the soprano every single day. So what I would recommend is to search your schedule, find time that is protected. When I say protected time, I mean time that is very unlikely for somebody else to take from you. For me, early in the morning is great protected time. Late at night is also pretty good sometimes. And if you're the only one home, that's a great time to practice. The point is try to find the time that most people will not talk to you where no one will try to take the time from you and use that as your practice time. Just try to be as consistent as you can with that. And when you're practicing, make sure that you're using a tuner. Anything like this will make a huge difference with your soprano sax sound. On a soprano sax, the range of notes that you're hitting is so high that they're really close together. You have to be really precise when you're playing a soprano sax. This is the tuner that I prefer. The reason I like it is when you do long tones, it plays the notes for you. You can actually just play a C this will tell you what a real C is, and then you can match it. You can also use apps that do the same thing, so I would recommend those, but I prefer to have something tangible, so this is what I use every morning when I'm practicing. If you're interested in checking one of these out, there's a link to it in the description below the video. Number five is to keep your embouchure steady. If you're playing pop music or R&B, you might be tempted to be very expressive and to bend your notes, to do all kinds of crazy stuff that sounds good to you, but as soon as you hear the recording, it doesn't quite sound as great. If you absolutely think that bending and scooping is the way to go in your specific circumstance, don't use your lip to bend the notes. What you should do is sing it. Use your throat. I can talk about that in a different video because that's a topic to itself. So overall, if you keep your embouchure steady and find other ways to express yourself while you're playing, it'll sound a lot better. Number six is to record yourself playing and to listen to yourself back. This same tuner is also a recorder, so you can use that to hear yourself quickly. You can just play into it. and then play it back. The reason it's important to record yourself is because when you're playing, you might be in the zone, everything sounds good to you, but as soon as you're removed from that situation and you can hear yourself, everything is clear. You can see exactly what you did wrong and that'll help you improve so much faster. Number seven, this is probably the most important way that you can improve your sound. It's to listen to great saxophone players. Some of my personal favorites are Grover Washington Jr., Kirk Whalum, and Huge Groove. These players have great soprano saxophone sounds. I learned from them even today after listening to them for over 10 years. So you can listen to those players and learn a lot. There are so many other great soprano saxophone players, but for the sake of time, I'm only listing a few. The reason you really want to listen to great soprano saxophone players play is it's going to change the way that you think a soprano sax should sound. 
If you have the idea in your head of what a great soprano sax sound is, you're going to go for that every time you play. And the more you try, the more you practice, it's going to sound closer to that. You need to know where you're going before you can get there, so listening to great soprano saxophone players is the fastest way to get a better soprano sax sound. I would say the soprano sax really is the saxophone that takes the most precision to play well. It takes the most practice to make it sound good. So I made a video called the five things that you should know before you get a soprano sax. If you don't have one yet, you should watch that so that you can know what to look for before you start playing. And also, if you have a soprano sax, maybe you don't know something that's in that video. So check that out. It might help you out. See you guys in the next video.